This is question 11 from the 2015 AMATIC Student Math League contest. The question states the equation a cubed plus b cubed plus c squared equals 2015 has exactly one solution in positive integers for which a is greater than b. And we want to find a plus b plus c for this solution. Again, this is a type of question where they don't really care about a plus b plus c. The idea is to find a, b, and c. But if they give us a list of five a, b's, and c's, you can just plug them in and see which one that works. So they're trying to get around that is the likely explanation. So these questions, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about really how big A can be. So to do that, well, I know A cubed, since A, B, and C are all positive integers, A cubed has to be less than 2015, which means A is less than the cube root of 2015. I'm going to use my calculator. Roll this up, I get 2015, just raise that to the one-third power, be taking a cube root, something like 12.6 um, here. So that tells me A is less than or equal to 12. So we've got 12 possible values for A, and now I'm just going to use my calculator to go through a bunch of possibilities here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Y equals. Um, let's just fill in values for A, I guess. I guess we have well, a greater than b, we'll use that. So we'll start at the large values of a. Um, what I'm going to do, maybe before I put this into an equation, is a cubed plus b cubed plus c squared equals 2015. Um, let's solve for one of these values. How about let's solve for c. So c squared is 2015 minus a cubed minus b cubed. c is then the square root of 2015 minus a cubed minus b cubed. So we get here, I'm going to put in square root, 2015. Now I'm going to assume a is 12 first, and then I'll have to go back and change that to 11. But I can use for b, I can use x. So I can do this, and now hit enter. I can go to my table, and this is a is 12, x is c, so we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on for, I'm sorry, x is b, for b, and basically looking, do I get a c that's a positive integer? And here I get an error means the thing under the square root is negative. So 12 did not work. So now I'm going to go back and change that 12 to an 11, and then go back to the table. Ah, I see I got one that works here. Um, we have uh, let's see, so that's a equals 11. Uh, let's see, we had x, which was b, equals 2, and we have c equals 26. That's how that works out. So there's really our answer. Um, and then if you add those together, 11 plus 26 is 37, plus 2 is 39. I'm going to circle that. b39 looks like our answer here. Um, one thing I would suggest here if this type of question is check to make sure that 11 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 26 squared actually gives you 2015. Enter. It does do that. Okay, now the search here, let's just go through the rest of the search. So essentially we're done here, um, but I can look through. I'm not looking for whole numbers. Okay, no more whole numbers in the y column. So then I would have to change this to 10 here. We could do a table. Let's see, I should check up here. No whole numbers. And then I could go to 9. 0, 9, I guess. Table, let's see, no whole number answers. I could change that 9 to an 8. Go to the table. I don't get whole numbers for C. Change this to a 7. Go to my table. Again, I see no whole numbers. There, I'm getting like a 40.1. At least that might be rounded, though. Um, I can change that 7 to a 6.
and no whole numbers. Change this six to a five. I mean, this starts to get now. One thing we can do here, I'm looking um, fairly far down. It occurs to me as I'm going through this list, we're saying one of the conditions was a is greater than b. That doesn't really matter. I mean, we could say one is bigger. Let's just assume a is greater than b, so I only have to look up to four here. No whole numbers. Four, I have to go up to three, no whole numbers. Three, I only need to go up to two. No whole numbers. Two, I only need to go up to one, which really is only one thing, so this is kind of overkill using the table here. None of that works out. So we're done here. Again, you could have stopped once you get a equals 11, b equals two, c equals 26, and that's what I do in an actual contest and assume that there is actually only one solution, but I just sort of wanted to go through and show that you could look through everything else. Sometimes you'll get a criteria here where instead of A is greater than B, maybe you have one where A plus C is greater than B, and there's like three solutions, but only one satisfy that inequality or something like that. So you might have to keep searching for multiple solutions and find the one they're asking for.